Hey everyone, it's Savannah. Welcome back to my day old tea. Today we are doing another Discord design reviews and I am so excited because you guys have absolutely been crushing it with these submissions in our Discord and I'm so excited to see what you guys have been creating. If you're new to my channel, this is a series where we go through designs submitted in Discord. So anything my viewers have been creating in Discord, I wanna take a look at and see what you guys have been making. Before we take a look at the designs, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for future post updates. Okay, first up we have submitted by Con Mateo, Fairy Godmothers. And I love what you did with the pathing here. You mixed these little pebble clusters that are in the rock landscaping tab along with this bordered path and that looks so great all mixed together just looks really pebbly and, and natural. It looks so great. Very well done. Next up, submitted by Lily, we have my finished kitchen, main room, and finished bedroom. Let's take a closer look. I love how you have this dining table set up. That's not a typical layout I would do, but it's so classic in Disney movies, and I think I should try it out. I also love this little island you've made. Oh my gosh, all the furniture just looks so good together. I don't know how you were able to make a cute and functional kitchen because mine always look so bad because the furniture just does not match very well in this game. Okay, I really like this room. I love this little painting kind of hobby area over in the corner too. And I'm so jealous that you have these Calathea plants in the baskets. I am wanting those so so badly here we have another look at the room is this a light i've never seen this item before that looks pretty interesting and i really want this cabinet this room is so pretty this is such a great main room in your house it's very functional you have the chest and it's just a really nice layout that i think is is really lovely oh my goodness is this from aristocats I have not seen this furniture piece. What is this from? Is it from Cinderella? Are they the mice on the side or the cats? I really can't tell. And this bed? Oh my goodness. Did you make this bed with a touch of magic? Or is that is that a bed in the game? I don't think I've seen that. This room is so homey. Oh my gosh, I love this room. Wow, this is so, so good. Amazing job, Lily. Febrianne submitted the Glade. Let's check it out. We've got Fairy Godmother looking great over here. I like that you used this light dirt path up in this biome. It looks really nice. I think bringing some lighter colors into the Glade is pretty nice. And I have not seen anybody move Scar's house. This is the first time I've seen Scar moved anywhere. And, and over here, the Glade of Trust, I feel like it really works. I'm interested to see how you build around the rest of your, this area. What have you got going on your Sunlit Plateau? Oh my goodness, I'm so interested. I need to see more. Okay, submitted by Kayla. We have redecorated meadows. Let's take a look. First of all, I love how your character is dressed like Ariel out here with the red hair and the sea foam dress. It's so pretty. I see these little cherry tree items. I should have gotten those. Now I regret it. They look so pretty in your meadow. I love the seating area around the pond. It's probably really nice to see all your villagers hanging out out there. That's one of my favorite parts is just seeing villagers enjoying the things we build. You also submitted the final product at night. Let's see it. Love this fountain. I wish it would be animated. That will just make this area look so much more amazing but this is such a great setup and I love this little garden you have here with all the trellises around it. That looks so pretty. What a nice meadow. Lily has submitted my candy store. Where would you like to sit? At our candy bar or at our outdoor candy restaurant? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The egg items are so good with Vanellope's house. This egg item. And the pastel balloons. Oh my goodness, this is so great. And you've got the candy bar out here. Wow, 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 wow. This is so cute. Look at all the little pink chairs. What biome is this? Is this sunlit? Wow, this is so cute, Lily. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. This is, this is one of the best designs I've seen for Vanellope's house thus far. 
This is so pretty. I wish it weren't raining but it's still pretty even in the rain. Okay, and then you've also submitted my Dazzle Beach amusement park. I am ready to be blown away. Okay, this looks so good. I wanna see more, I wanna see more. Look at all the stuff you were able to fit in this area. Your beach looks so good. Look at this fountain tile. What is this? What is this? What is that? I need to know, is that the gold brick? It kind of looks like wood here. Wow, this is looking great. Oh my gosh, I am jealous. I, I want tickets to this amusement park ASAP. How much do they cost? <laughs> I'm coming. This looks so good. Wow, this is, this is a great shot. Oh my gosh, and you've got the whole arcade set up over here. The Dumbo ride has never looked better. This is actually a really good path for the amusement park rides. Everything looks so, like, much more vibrant on it. Wow, it looks so good. Dang, you really crushed that. Great job, Lily. All right, next up we have submitted by Febrianne, my beach house design. Let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa, this is so good. With the, with the, with the rugs, you made the rugs look like a boardwalk up to the house. And then these are stones you put in the water what who's been doing this this looks great i've not seen anybody do this you've got the little lounge dang this place looks nice i want to hang out here whoa this is such a great design and the waterfall on the side with the moana pool who wouldn't want to spend their summer here look at you out here absolutely loving summer I love it. Okay, I just pulled up this photo again because I think it may have been cut off and I just fixed my display screen. So sorry if any of the other designs got a little cropped weird, but I wanted to show you again. This is how the rocks are laid out in the water here, like to make a path. That's such a good idea. You could also do that with all the grasses or the lily pads when you're walking through over here on the beach. Love that idea. We should definitely all play a little bit more with the water decorations. And also, I would like to see some more. I want more water decorations. Give me some pool floaties. I wanna put those out on my beach. Lily's absolutely crushing it. We have my countryside of my forest, AKA my farm. As somebody who has not decorated their forest yet, I need some serious inspiration. So let's see what Lily will bless us with now. Wow, I love to see all the green. I love plants. This makes me happy. Look at this farm. Oh my gosh, the lettuce is too, too cute. I need to make a little lettuce farm like this because that looks adorable. We got the pumpkin farm. This is a really pretty farm. And look at this little set up here with all the barrels and the little garden clutter. I love it. Wow, this is so cute. I wanna see more of the farm. I wanna see more of the farm. It's so good. What an amazing job. I'm, ta I'm gonna take inspiration from this. I'm working in my Sunlit Plateau and making that a really cute farm. And I think I could take some inspo from this if you don't mind. Or maybe I'll do something like this in my forest. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my forest. I need some ideas. This is giving. Oh my God, you did not. You did not. Okay, you win. You win, Lily. My finished Halloween town with the residents of Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Merlin. This town will be changing with each holiday, but for right now and until Christmas, it'll be Halloween. I'll be adding more Halloween decorations when the new Halloween Star Path comes out in September. It has a community theater, pool and garden, and a little market where books, plants, and fish can be purchased. And my teleporter is just to the right of Minnie's house so that I can teleport straight into town. Stop it right now. You made a road with the rugs and the custom designs. Perfect for Halloween town. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I've not seen anybody make rugs like the road quite like this yet. It's it's amazing. I need to play around with this. Wow, this is so good. I love it. This would look so good in the Forgotten Lands. Your Halloween town is gonna look sick. I'm so ready. Oh my gosh. This is making me so excited. I am currently working on starting a Halloween 
Island in Animal Crossing. So this is giving me inspiration for that. I love when that happens. You get inspiration from seeing builds in other games. You can just kind of cross over the ideas. I love it. Wow, this is so cute. I love these as the benches throughout the city vibe. What a cute build. Oh my gosh, you just knock everything out of the park, don't you? Look at this. This is the this is the community theater. This is kind of like what I want to be building up in my forgotten lands, but I don't have these cute little picnic blankets with all the pillows on them. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Wow, this is so inspiring. Stop it right now. Look at the little Mickey chairs. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much so much inspiration from this build. This is so, so pretty. One, honestly, one of the best builds I've seen in Disney Dreamlight Valley this far, maybe. And then of course we have matching outfits for the build. We love to see it. So we've got my poison apple and evil queen themed dress for Halloween. Let's check it out. Look at that big poison apple and the flames. It's giving Shigo from Kim Possible with the green and black. I love it. She's so fierce. Looking so good out in your Halloween town. I love it. Wow, I can't wait to see what everybody builds for Halloween with new Star Path items. We're gonna absolutely go wild with those. And Lily submitted my beach house. Let's check it out. We've got the boardwalk path on the beach. Love to see it. I need to play around with making some more blankets, don't I? That's what I'm learning from seeing all your amazing designs out here. Do we see this one? So cute. I've seen a lot of people using these little simple lamps along the paths as light. I haven't tried that out. I'm not too sure what I think about it. I think that when other people do it, it looks really cute, but I don't know if I myself would like to see a bunch of little lamps on the ground, but it looks really cute here. And you've got the beach house in the same place I have mine. It looks so great here. Love it. Okay, we have a few more submissions here. We have mini casita decorated here. Let's check it out. This looks like the Glade of Trust. Okay, okay, I like this little dining setup you have here. All the colors look really pretty. Casita is just so pretty. I think it's one of my favorite houses in the game. I'll be interested to know, what's your favorite villager house in Disney Dreamlight Valley to decorate? I wanna know in the comments. This looks so cute. Look at little Wally hanging out. Why wouldn't you wanna hang out there? I mean, most of your valley is really, really pretty, Lily, so there's a lot of great places to hang out, I'm sure. But this is a wonderful build. I love all the color. Excellent job. Okay, submitted from Neil. We have my entry for this week's Beach Dream Snaps. I love to see this beach house getting the love it deserves. It's definitely my favorite premium house skin I've seen so far. And this looks so good here. You have this on the island in front of Skull Rock. How did you fit all of this amazing decor on that tiny island? I struggle to make Anything look good over there. This is looking so great. What a great little dream snaps. I hope you're enjoying that new feature in the game. Febrianne has submitted my candy area in the Frosted Heights. I've been waiting to see y'all be sending these photos in. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Did you make these picnic tables look like, to me they look like pop tarts. Maybe I'm just hungry. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. You've got the dress that matches. Of course you do. Whoa, and then what is this? Are these all rugs? Okay, clearly I have to just, you know what? Why am I even bothering to grind for materials to make the in-game paths? You guys are just making some incredible designs with the rugs. Why am I not just using that for a path? Whoa, this is so cute. Wow, I'm so excited to decorate Frosted Heights now. I need to make a candy biome. It looks so pretty. I submitted from Neil. Look at this great shot on the beach. I like this little sitting area here a lot. It is very cute and cozy. Look at your outfit, absolutely crushing it. Love the style. We have another design submitted by Lily. This is Stitch's finished house. Whoa, look at all the toys in his yard. Oh, Stitch would be so happy. This is so pretty with all of these 
rocks leading up to the front. I wish I could find this rock rug. Wow, that looks so good. I love how you staggered it. So it's a little bit more interesting. And all the colors of the toys. Yeah, Stitch would love this. This would be a wonderland for Stitch. Amazing job. K-Love submitted their Dream Snaps week two submission. Let's take a look. Oh, you got the little scuba outfit. I'm having so much fun running around my valley with the scuba outfit. I'm glad to see that you are too. Your beach looks really pretty. And oh my gosh, I need this hammock tree item. So, so bad. I'm so jealous that you have that. Your beach looks so pretty. Stitch's house over here looks very good all of the designs that I received for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and take a lot of inspiration from all of the amazing designs we saw today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Huge thank you to everyone who has been taking the time to not only build amazing things in their valley, but also go ahead and submit them in my Discord. I'm super appreciative of that. And you guys just continue to knock it out of the park. I'm so excited to see how the designing in this game evolves. And we're gonna have that all documented here on the channel. So, so much to look forward to in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I hope you guys are enjoying playing the new update. If you're interested in getting in on the fun, all you need to do is take a wonderful photo or video of any where in your valley, it can be an exterior, it can be an interior, it can be clothing you designed. Anything you made in Disney Dreamlight Valley, I wanna see it, so definitely be sure to join our Discord. The link will be in the description and you can find more details for submitting there. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care, bye-bye.